what is going on guys guys i know i haven't dropped videos in quite a few months but it was black friday this week i have a bunch of deals ran into a couple of deals i ended up spending a lot more money than i was supposed to so i will be doing a couple videos where i'll be unboxing things that i bought a lot of this stuff that i picked up are things i've been wanting for a long time and so yeah let's get right into the video first thing we have is from levi's this is what the package looks like and let's see what I picked up. So I never really buy brand new Levi jeans just cause I thrift a lot. And you know, I prefer the older Levi's. But let's see what I picked up guys. Okay, right here. Let's see. I know what I picked up. So, what we have here is a pair of Levi's Vintage Collection. Um, these are the 1937 Selvage Japanese Raw Denim. Uh, basically, uh, this is like the 1937 Levi model that dropped a long time ago. And so, this has the rivet on the crotch area right there. This was done a long time ago. The crotch rivet was removed because um, people would be by hot areas and mines and fire or whatever, and it would just heat up that area. And that's not a spot you want that metal crotch rivet to heat up in, um, but yeah. And so the jeans here, they have a leather tab like they used to do it, not those cardboard papery leather tabs that most levi's nowadays have and this is a japanese salvage denim so inside you could rock it um and show that inside salvage um stitch right there and yeah so i end up getting a 38 by 34 which um is a bigger than my normal size i went a size up just because but raw denim, you know, it doesn't really, sh well, it shrinks if you wash it, but it usually fits small for me. And Levi's button flies in general fit small for me. So I just went with a 38. They didn't have a 40. I, I would have went tried the 40 to be honest, but it is what it is. It's definitely a pair I've been looking for. In the back, it has this cinch um, too. It's just a nice pair of jeans and I'm very impressed with the weight of it compared to the naked and famous uh, Japanese salvage denim I have. This weighs a lot more than the pair that I have uh, from Naked and Famous. And uh, they also threw in this like dust bag for whatever reason. Um, yeah, I mean, I can use this for some, oh, it's a, it's a tote bag. So they threw in a tote bag. I can, I can use this for a pair of shoes. But yeah, th that's the jeans. Um, definitely really nice. Oh, another thing I forgot to tell you guys is this has the big E. They stopped doing this in like the early 80s, I, if, I, if I'm correct. Um, it has a big E right there. So that's, they brought that back in recent years. And I think they also brought the leather patch back in recent years also. But yeah, let's get to the next package. These are two sneakers. Um, if you didn't know, go Black Friday. They always do like these uh, raffle type Q drops. And so I went for a couple sneakers. Um, I usually pick up a couple pairs from the Goat Black Friday. I think it's a really go good thing that they do. And you can pick up a lot of hyped shoes or just good shoes um, for retail or near retail. And so I did do that this year. I got some more on the way too. So let's see what we picked up off the bat. I see this cardboard paper. Goat always has this like cardboard paper. I don't mind it because I recycle um, my packing supplies because I also sell things so I don't mind all that extra stuff that Go, you know throws in there for packaging Anyways, here we got one of the shoes. I wasn't expecting to get this one first is one of the third shoes I won This is a Solomon XT4 um, And this is a no tray collab no tray is a shop in Chicago and it's a pretty um, popular uh, they do like a lot of popular collabs. They've done some with Nike and I guess this green and beige 
cream, the cream beige green color tone is like their signature uh, colors, I guess. And yeah, so this is just a Solomon. If you guys know, Solomons are pretty popular right now. And I believe this one's called the stained glass. And so it's got like some type of gradient on the green. Green is one of my favorite colors. Uh, it's my school colors. And I just think it's very good with a lot of sneakers. All right, guys, the final package of this video. Let's get right into it. This box is definitely from GOAT. So let's see which one of the GOAT shoes came in today. Yeah, so like I said, I hit about four or five pairs on the GOAT Black Friday. And I can already tell you guys, this is a pair of Yeezys. I'm actually excited for these. I'm glad it's one of the shoes I'm actually excited for that I was debating keeping. So you guys will see right here, this shoe, foam, the Yeezy, uh, 450 slides. So with this shoe, um, I picked it up, even though they're not going for much, I paid like the normal market value for it. Basically retail, they're going for around retail, which is very surprising to me. I think this one is very slept on. Um, as far as sizing goes, the, the website had said to go up a size, but after watching YouTube videos, I sort of like, kicked myself because um, I heard that it does fit big and you could have actually went down the size or your normal size. So let's see and test that out because like I said, I did want these. I have somewhat of a wider foot. Um, so these might work, but yeah, I can already see these are looking pretty true to size, but who knows? I'll try them on for the video. Guys, these are just like, these are just like the slides, guys. Just like the slides. Uh, different smell. But yeah, these are pretty cool, guys. You guys don't know, like, I wear my slides every single day. Yeezy slides are the best Yeezy of all time. And so I picked these up because I just had to have them. It's the only 450 colorway that dropped. Yeezys aren't dropping. I wanted those when they first came out and I wasn't able to get them because of the resellers. Um, but yeah, let's try these on. Um, yep, these are definitely huge. You guys can't see it. But these things are huge. Look at my foot. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna keep these, but oh my gosh, guys. I don't know. Uh, maybe. Let me try on the other one. I'm trying them on too, and they're going to be like, yo, you try those on, you can't sell them again. And I'm going to be like, bruh, I just bought these. All right, let's see. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I feel like I can make them work, but it's just like, why? Like, I should have went down a size for sure. I don't know, I'd say true to size for sure. If you guys ever are interested in buying these, definitely go true to size, get your normal size. But yeah, I mean, I like these guys. These look so good, bro. These look so good. And no one's talking about these either. Look at this. Look at that, boom. I love slides, guys, because I run a lot. I'm a, I play a lot of basketball, and so, after you know four hours of playing you gotta do some more walking around campus your feet start to hurt and you get blisters you know stuff like that so i always wear my slides super lightweight guys i'm gonna end up keeping these because i don't know i will say though i will say like this thing up here it's gonna stretch out but it's just made it's made like the older yeezys like the with the ones from like two or three years ago where you had to size up. So it is kind of similar to that. But if I went down a size, it probably would have been better. It probably would, yeah. But I'm going to just keep them. It is what it is. I'm going to just keep them. But yeah, I think that's going to be all for this video, guys. I appreciate you guys for joining. Um, I did order uh, cologne recently. And I have gotten some other stuff that I've opened. And I didn't show you guys, but I will have some more videos, guys. Make sure to... Leave a like, subscribe, of course, turn on your notifications. Let me know uh, what type of stuff you guys want to see.
make sure to stay tuned, turn, turn post notifications on, and I'll see you next time.